Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I went from this unedited raw image on the left to this finished image on the right using a combination of Luminar AI and Affinity Photo. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. This is not going to be a super long and drawn out tutorial. I plan on doing these semi-frequently so that you guys can get an idea of my workflow throughout multiple videos instead of me having to punch out an entire hour long episode. So let's just jump straight into it. First thing I'm going to do is accent AI and I'm actually going to max this one all the way out. There's no real sky to enhance so I'm leaving that alone. I'm going to come down to my composition, straighten this up like that, leave it at the original size, press enter to lock that in. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to go to structure we're going to do a 40 structure and we're only going to do it on certain portions. So we're going to do hundred percent opacity and we're going to do 42% hardness on our mask. Okay. Let's come in here and paint in the vehicle. Do your absolute best to not get outside of the vehicle. But if you do, that's completely fine. Is we'll go back with the erase tool, clean up these edges here, and I'm now going to do a 50% opacity with 100% softness on this right, on this gravel, and then the actual reflection. Make that jump a little bit more. Okay, let's come down to color. I want a goodness, not a hundred. Don't do a hundred. Twenty is probably going to be good. Twenty looks good. I'm going to give it a 10 bump in vibrance. There's off, there's on, there's off, there's on. That's really how red that puddle was. This is red dirt, East Texas. So that's how it really looks. And that red is a uh, metallic deep red. And that's really how it looks in real life. So that's how I want it to look on here. Let's go to details again. 10 on the small, 20 on the medium. I'm going to bring my opacity up to 100. Softness to 53. Why do I keep collapsing these? Okay, and now we're going to add some detail to the nose, the wheel, and the side. Now, again, that is not the same as sharpening. Uh, I don't add sharpening. Uh, I just, if the photo is not in, in focus, then it's just not in focus. But I do try to accentuate some of the grill, headlight, wheel, and the intercooler right here. Because this is a turbocharged 2.5. So that does have a visible intercooler at the front of the car. So I want that to kind of jump out in detail. So bump my details. Now landscape enhancer, probably gonna go with a 10. There we go. That gives me a little bit more punch in my reds and oranges and greens. Okay, I like that. Sky AI. So this one, I'm gonna be replacing the sky. I already know I want sky number five, so I'm gonna select it. I like that sky a lot it's in the right spot i like that it actually took away the uh little you can hardly see it but this bird and this cell phone tower in the back it just cleans that out that's perfect i'm going to make some adjustments so on the brightness it was full sun so i'm going to bring the brightness all the way up to match i'm going to bring the defocus to probably 20. that looks good and now I'm going to remove the scene relighting. I don't want it to relight my scene. I just want some clouds. So now the clouds are done. Let's come on down here to, I was using a manual focus adapted. This was a SMC Takamar 85 millimeter F 1.8, six element manual focus, 1960s film lens adapted to the Lumix S5. So there is no uh, optics adjustments. I am gonna do the super contrast, medium contrast, probably 20. Uh, let's start off, back on, off and back on. Let's do 15 and we are done in Luminar. I'm gonna export this as a TIFF and then I'll see y'all over there in Affinity Photo. Okay, so now we have that image in Affinity Photo. I save it as a TIFF because that's the best way to still have maximum flexibility 
outside of a raw file. So I can't resave it as a raw, but I can save it as a TIFF with the maximum amount of detail and the maximum amount of flexibility for a little bit more tweaking in Affinity Photo. So first things first, we need to get rid of this car, but I already know from doing it the first time that it is not going to work. There's just not enough information. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. So we're actually going to clone stamp this thing out. It's going to be a bit of a process, but I'm going to show you. So flow at 100, hardness at 50, opacity at 100, alt, click what I want to clone, and I'm going to draw a little bit, okay? Alt, click again, draw a little bit. And we're just going to do this over and over and over until we get rid of this blue car. And yes, it will be kind of a repeating pattern, but then we'll go back in and we will adjust and make some other changes to get it to blend really well. So I'll catch you guys back here shortly. And I think that's going to do it for us. Oh no, I hit the tire. Don't hit the tire. Get that and make it blend itself in. That looks good. Uh, you can go over here, tweak and tweak and tweak till it looks perfect. I'm not going to do that because, again, I don't want to make this an hour long video. For your and my final images, I would clean some of this up even more. But, so I'm going to do the auto contrast. I'm going to do auto levels. Okay, that looks good. Auto color. I like that. And I don't like the auto white balance, but I do see that it does need a little bit more in the warm side. So I'm going to do 3% on the white balance. I'm going to hit my curves. I want to make that anchor point right there. Dip my shadows a little. Bump my highlights a little more than that was showing. And I like that a lot. Okay, now I'm going to hit zero and bring up the Dodge 33 hardness, 33 opacity as per my usual. We're going to brighten up the wheel a couple times, hit this back wheel a couple times. We're going to even out the brightness in the nose of the car as best we can without it looking weird. And then we're just going to add some overall brightness to the nose and the side. One smaller mask. One larger mask. Now that's a little bit brighter and I'm gonna add one more pop on that front left corner. Okay, and that is completed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like it if you liked it. Leave a comment down below on something you have a question on, something you want me to cover in an upcoming video. And please subscribe to stay on top of all of my new content. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great day.